Hello, my name is Willowind, and I'm here to help you out learning Thomecraft 3, which is part of the uh, Feed the Beast Minecraft mod pack. I'm in thoroughly enjoying Thomecraft 3, but it was very difficult for me to get started. There was not a lot of information, so I'd like to help people out so they have a little better chance of getting started. Thomecraft 3 is a learn-as-you-go mod. It is a very kind of puzzling mod. If you like to try to puzzle things out and figure things out, you're really going to like this mod. You could, of course, look up all the recipes you wanted on the wiki, but you're not going to be able to do them in-game until you learn them for yourself. And the way to learn these things is through this research table. Now, in the last episode, I showed you how to make some of these basic tools. We made a wand, an arcane work table, a crucible, and a research table. Today I'm going to go over the research table. It's a little bit uh, overwhelming when you look at it. You're not quite sure what to do. Well, the first thing you're going to need is paper. You need lots of paper. So grow that sugar cane, harvest that sugar cane, make the paper. We're going to put paper down here in this slot. You're always going to have paper there or you won't be able to do any research. The next thing you want to do is hold down the shift button and just take a look at your items. Now you'll notice that these have little square pictures popping up, different symbols, little tiny numbers in the bottom right hand corner. These are the aspects of the item. These are the type of magical aspects that these items contain within them. And the little numbers indicate how many magical aspects per piece. So one piece of paper has two water, uh, to Cognito, oh it's Aqua, Cognito, and I think Messis, which means Harvest. Uh, that's very important for later. You're going to need to know how many items, how many numbers are in each thing, how many numbers of the aspects, because when you get into making some of these recipes that you learn, it's going to call for certain amounts of these aspects. And it's very important that you try to get as close to the amounts without going too much over. Uh, well, we'll get into that later, <laughs> but just be aware of that. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is just pick something. It doesn't matter what. I'm going to pick this book because this book has got a lot of aspects. And we can mouse over them and we can look at them. Cognito, Mesis, Aqua, Corpus, and Bestia. Okay. So then what are we going to do with this book? I've only got one in there, so it may <laughs> we may lose it. And you are going to lose a lot of items over here. This is where you put all your items that you want to research. Down here, this little button that says Cursory or Thorough. If it's on Cursory, it will take you a lot longer to research items. But the chances of losing them are a lot smaller. Uh, you're probably still going to lose the item. If you go with the thorough, you're going to burn through a lot more items, but you're going to learn your recipe a lot faster. I tend to keep mine on thorough, and I just collect everything in the game. If you are one of those players that just keeps their bags full of every piece of junk that you pick up, thinking, well, I'll use it someday, today's the day. You're going to use all that stuff, all of it. So once we have an item in here, we're going to press this little magnifying glass and do some research and see what pops up. And we do have something pop up. It took Messis, the crops and harvest aspect. So that's what it's focusing on. These are your research notes here for this particular research that's going on. And as you can see, it's just unknown. You open this and you can't read that's all gibberish, right? So what it needs is it needs something else, something else to study. Well, let's see. This has Messis in it. So I'm going to put this in and see. What you're going to want to do is, if you look down, it says 37% complete. It still needs to study more messes. So we're going to keep studying. Oh, and the aqua just grayed out. The reason that the items gray out over here means that this recipe that you're researching does not need this item. So it's just discounting it, and it's focusing on messes. So that's what we're going to focus on and you're going to end up just keep clicking oh, until you see all these little rainbowy squiggly lines around it. That means you have researched that item as much as you can. 
there's no use in keeping it in here. You're just going to be wasting your item. So we'll take that out. Let's see what's paper got. <clears throat> no, I'll I'll try I'll try iron. Oh, hold on a second. I didn't realize this is starting to actually tell me something. Straw golem worker. That's what I'm making right now. Golem worker. I have an idea what I might need for that, but uh, I'm gonna just for example use this metal. Metalum. Let's see. Nope. It's grayed out. So this recipe is not gonna use metalum. Let's see. How about feathers? Feathers have volito, aura, and corpus. No corpus. Up. Oh, no volito or aura either. Okay. That doesn't need that. Jeez. What does this thing need? Uh, let me try this here. It's got wood. Does it need wood? No. No, it doesn't need that. As you see, it takes a long time to um, figure out these little items. It's just a process of elimination. That's what you gotta do. Go out, collect stuff, put it on here, test it out, see what you get. When you get the idea of the, you know, get the hang of doing this, then you'll sort of get an idea of what aspects are gonna be used to make whatever item that you're currently researching. It will all become clear. Just leave these research notes right in your desk here. Don't, no need to take them out. And just continue to find things, add things to it, research it, and see. Eventually, eventually, you're going to get what looks like a little magic scroll, just like this. And it'll say discovery. And you can hold it and read the little flavor text that goes along with it. And when you right-click on it, of course, I've already right-clicked on one of these, so I can't relearn it. When you right-click on it, you're going to learn it. And guess where it's going to go? Thaumonomicon. That's right. This thing records everything. So there's my magic tallow, and it tells me how to use it, how to make it. So uh, I hope this was helpful. This is on the research table, like I said, trial and error, process of elimination. You really just got to stick the paper in and research your items and collect. Collect lots of items. There are lots of aspects. You can look the aspects up online on the wiki, uh, but I recommend just trying, is, trying these out. Trying them out on your own and seeing if you can guess what other aspects your recipe might need. Uh, you, you might surprise yourself, and it is kind of fun. It adds to the fun of the game. Okay. Well, I hope to see you back here again soon, and this is Willowind. I hope you enjoyed Th Thomecraft 3 and my tutorial. Uh, if there's any questions, you can feel free to leave them, and I will try to answer them as best as possible. But I am not a professional, so really. Okay, bye.